Advent, December 13th, 2023. Do not be afraid. Luke chapter 1, verses 5 through 17. Then there appeared to him an angel of the Lord, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was terrified, and fear overwhelmed him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will name him John. Luke chapter 1, verses 11 through 13. Fear arises when we face the unknown or are confronted with challenges. So many people live in fear. Understandably so, there are many fear-mongering voices in the media, marketplace, and more whose dire warnings add to general anxiety. When we're fearful, we grasp, hoard, and hold on for dear life. In Luke chapter 1, verses 5-17, through 17, we find a story that should help us overcome our fears, but simply through the phrase, Do not be afraid. Zechariah and Elizabeth are an elderly couple who longed for a child but were unable to conceive. Bring on the anxiety and the fear. Were they thinking, we aren't good enough? Is there something wrong with us? What can we do? We know that Zechariah was a priest and both he and Elizabeth were faithful. While serving in the inner sanctuary, an angel appeared to Zechariah. At first, he is filled with fear and disbelief. Scripture says he was terrified. When the angel tells him, do not be afraid, and that his prayers had been heard. He and Elizabeth will have a son named John. Fear in this text represents the doubt and uncertainty that can hold us back when we face unexpected or miraculous opportunities. Zechariah's initial reaction is a reminder that fear can blind us to the possibilities that lie before us, causing us to question the divine and doubt our own abilities. While fear is a natural part of life, it should not paralyze us. Instead, we should confront fears with faith and be open to the blessings that can arise. Just as faithful Zechariah's and Elizabeth's fears gave way to the fulfillment of their desire for a child, our own fears can lead to growth, transformation, and the realization of our highest potential when we approach them with trust and faith. Leslie Lassier, Senior Director for the Center of Ministry and Lay Training.